uh, what a joy and pleasure it is to be here today for this really wonderful event. It's a great day. It's a great day for TAC. Okay? It's a great day for UT, but even more than that, it's a great day for our nation. And I think even more than that, it's a great day for science. This is an emotional day for me because it makes vivid the compounding exponential advances in computer technology in less than 50 years and the enormous privilege that I have had to participate in this incredible growth of performance, <coughs> impact, and ubiquity of digital computing technology from its days of infancy. Ranger brings a quantum leap in the computational and memory capability of the TerraGrid and is a major step forward towards the next goal of computing at sustained rates of 10 to the 15th operations per second, the so-called petascale level. It enables researchers to use and link computers with diverse architecture, databases, and visualization facilities. It's 504 teraflops of peak uh, computational performance, half a petaflop. It's also got over a petabyte of disk and over 120 terabytes of memory. These are equally important for making it a powerful supercomputer. This enables us to conduct the largest simulations, not just of any open science system in the world, but of any supercomputing system in the world. So by most metrics, I would call this, without a doubt, the most powerful and general purpose supercomputing system for research ever. We believe that uh, supercomputing facilities like this, and Ranger specifically, will transform our business. It is going to transform industry, and like uh, the power generation uh, that precedes it, will uh, equivalently uh, transform society as well. As uh, our understanding of basic science, our understanding of medicine, our understanding of energy, our understanding of the environment are all progressed by uh, the types of computational facilities that are being built and by Ranger in specific. I really believe we're doing something very meaningful. I believe that supercomputing is truly something that's going to bring innovation back to America. Not that we've lost it, but we're in danger of losing it. And last night in the democratic debate to which I was privileged to attend, one issue that came up in the debate is how critical it is that we truly put emphasis on making sure that innovation in this country is here to flourish and continue to provide the, the great engines of economic growth and opportunity that I know can exist in almost every branch that you can imagine in industry. So it's a great privilege, a thrill for me to be part of this and to watch people that are really passionate about what they do and create an opportunity, as Jonathan said, that I believe is going to help bring about not only innovation, per se, but I ways in which the world can actually get better. So what we're marking today is a celebration of deploying and installing the system. But the real celebration is going to be over the next four years. Every time researchers are enabled to accomplish re uh, simulations they could not have otherwise conducted, leading to knowledge discovery. That's really why we're in this. We're enablers of scientists and engineers in all disciplines. We want to help them conduct world-class science that increases our understanding of the world and has a direct impact on it.